Okay, in this quick tutorial for new Blender users, I'm just going to show you a few tips about the mirror modifier and the and how it might get you in trouble or not. So it's all about that modifier stack. So I have a sphere, and if I said I was going to edit this, maybe in face select, they have both. Let's turn this both sides off. There we go. So I just take that and I maybe just press E and extrude it, and E and extrude that like that. So I'm extruding this side, and then I want to go over here and do the same thing to to match that up. Well, you know, if you don't, not, if you're trying to do both sides at once, it gets very confusing if you're trying to get, try and get that exact one over there. I think that's it, right? So you don't want to do that. So the best way is just to get, get rid of half of it. Easiest in ortho mode like that. I'll go into vertex select. I'll tell you, I'll press B. I just get rid of all these vertices here like that. X vertices. All right, and then what I want to do is I want to mirror this one to the other side. So go get a mirror modifier like that, and there it is. All right. So if you this is this can be confusing if you if you're not used to using the mirror modifier because if you come over here now and if I go back into this mode and I change this and I press E you can see it changes both sides but this look kind of gets you in trouble unless you do this and then if you have that button selected it basically allows you to select either side and it does the same thing so like this it selects it there because that's the active side like that I press E better turn on clipping E oh it's got oh I got my uh with this, that's the problem if you have this turned on. So I'll turn that off. Now I'll turn that on. So now I can click, click e anywhere, and it looks just like a regular model. You just have to remember you're centered down here. All right, so we have that. So now let's add another. Let's say we've gotten that, and it's we want to smooth this out a little bit. So we're going to add a smoothing modifier. All right, I'll smooth it, and let's verify that it's working. So you have to verify working in uh, object mode. All right, so there it is. That's a pretty cool shape right there. Okay, like that. Let's render that too as well. Let's see what it looks like. Okay, there it is rendered. That seems kind of normal, right? That nothing seems. Everything, everything looks kind of correct, but however, sometimes if you have put your mirror modifier in after your smoothing modifier, which means like I can use these buttons and move that down the stack, suddenly your mirror modifier is going to misbehave on you. And this, so if you've added it in the wrong order, so orders of the modifiers on the stack make a huge difference in this case. Even rendered like that, it's not right. All right? Even though I have it set strictly nothing more than the ordering of that, so then you have to use these guys to push that back up, and then everything works all right. So sometimes if you're having trouble, just change the order of your modifiers in your stack, and that might fix it all up. Okay, so it's a short lesson, and that's it. So I'll see you in the next video.